deep breath in and out. I am someone who lives with an open heart, giving love freely wherever I go. I am living a life true to myself, co-creating with the abundant universe. Deep breath in and out. I am so excited for what the universe has in store for me. I am someone who can change any area of my life at any time. Deep breath in and out. What I'm fully committed to, to shifting in to the 2.0 version of me. Deep breath in and out. I am the hero of my own story, and a bold new chapter is on the rise. Deep breath in and out. I am in charge of how I feel, and today I'm choosing happiness. I am a person people are naturally drawn to and want to be around. Deep breath in and out. I love myself. I forgive myself. It's just a small level of grounding. What we did right now was just ground ourselves to it. Okay? So quickly turn on your cameras, guys, and show me that you have a glass of water ready. Tiranjit, can you get us also a glass of water, please? Okay. Show me quickly, guys. Let's turn on our cameras. It is supporting this. Okay. All right. So a very, very, very warm welcome to this special session. Comment in one if it is the first time that you are attending a session with me or Niranjan or, you know, Soul Flow. It's your first session with us. It's your first session. Please comment in one. I can see a lot of old faces also. Taranpreet is here. There is there. But if it's the first time you are seeing this, yeah. Okay. Aditi's first session. Okay. Who else? Okay, only Aditi. Kuntal has joined, Damini, Tripti, Akansha. So first of all, I had asked you to fill a poll. Let me look at the poll results. My 2023 in one line, what are the sub goals you had set in? Rank your goals. Lovely. This is just one part of what we were, you know, what we were, what we are going to do today. We're going to sit and audit our entire year. We are going to go into a deep reflection mode and we will see why this vision board alone can't work. What are, why we have to move from this vision board to something more active, something more proactive, something that will make sure you never lose out in your goals again. Dhuni, welcome Dhuni first time, Priyanka, Shratika for second class. So quickly tell me how many of you have attempted or made a vision board in this year? How many of you had built up a vision board this year? Yes. But you would have noticed that the vision board after a certain time stays just right there. Like in front of me, there's a huge vision board actually. It just stays there for a long time. What we are going to do is to change our mindset and from this build something that actually gets stuff done. We are going to work on our life and plan it in such a way that we actually have access to what is it needed to build all of this. Okay? So we are moving out from vision board to a different kind of board. 
So Kuntal, I think you are coming to uh, Mumbai, right? So you will be able to come and get, put it out there, right? You will be, we will be making a beautiful vision board there itself, right? So, but today class is going to be a more deep introspection on this. Okay, so this is Niranjan. Introduce yourself. Yes. Hey everyone. So how many of you here know me? How many of you here do not know me? If you know me, comment in. I, 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 I know, I know me. Super, beautiful. So this, we are going to go into this today is the art of joy and the craft of growth. So very quick introduction. I am Sanchari and this is Niranjan. I'm Niranjan. So I am a self-architecture college dropout, turned self-taught artist, turned art coach, turned productivity personal growth coach. But all of them today, we are just friends. We are here for a meeting. Let's get into the fun mode. Today, we are just going to be like friends to participating in an event together. So in the, yeah. So... See, the whole reason why we got into the past, because today I was actively talking to a lot of participants who wanted to join in for our offline meetup in Mumbai, which we are doing on December 23rd. How many of you here are from Mumbai commenting M, M, Mumbai? Because this is a great chance. We can really catch up. I try reaching out to so many people, but if you are not joined in yet, do come in. We would love to see you live. So as I was telling I can As, see Kuntal is already here. Yeah. Who else? How Devani many of you have already? Devani is here. She's coming for the Mumbai thing. Mumbai thing. How many of you here? Yes, Kuntal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So as I was talking to so many participants, uh, what I've realized is that so many of us make New Year resolutions, right? We make New Year resolutions and we struggle to follow along with it. Now what happens is that when we make a plan for the year, it's not a resolution. It's a solid plan. It's a game plan for 2024. And it's not one statement. It's not a bunch of pictures. It is proper solid plans. And over the past year, because of this practice that we've had, in one year alone, we have been able to meet our mentors. We've been able to launch multiple new courses. We have done three offline meetups. Now we are on our way to holding our fourth, uh, three, uh, fourth meetup, which is also a three-day VIP meet. And we, more than everything, we've been able to impact so many lives with our teachings and our work. How many of you here would love to be that person of who's creating impact to others? Impact, say I. You want to be, if, even if you're not holding a Zoom class with 100 participants, you just want to be the person who's able to help others around you, right? You're a parent, you want to impact your kids. You are a boss, you want to impact, right? You want to be that person of impact, exactly. So in order to oh, assert your impact, your influence. So influence, first of all, it's not very difficult to create, create. Okay. And today we are going to tell you this secret. So all those who have already commented and I, you are getting to get to know this secret. Okay. And trust me, this is not something that we have done or we have gotten to this. It is something that all of us have, you know, at SoulFlow being able to achieve and being able to do. In fact, Taran is right now, she is part of this. She has also been able to get out of this. People have been able to get out of their mental health. They have been able to change their careers. They have become superhumans. And today, those same secrets that I've made, Abneet become from a homemaker to a coach, from, you know, Nazu get Nazu. out of her inhibitions. It's all that we are going to discuss today. So I want all of you to give us your full attention. All those who still don't have their cameras turned on, please take a minute to turn on your cameras. Yes, because see, we really want you to be present in the class. And I'm sure that everyone here wants to make good use of their time, right? Why would you want to sit in a class where you're paying half attention? Right. Turn on your cameras. Okay. So we want your full attention. Show me that you have a glass of water ready because it's very essential to be hydrated here. And let's go. Okay. So today's class, we will go into from F my life to fix my life. We are going to work on areas of your life to fix it in there. And from today, you are not going to be anywhere worried. So first of all, the very first question is, what is life? And what do I need to fix? When we talk about life, we often say my life is going bad. My life is going good. My life is going amazing. Tell me in the chat box, how is your life going? 
How is your life going, Niranjan? Going good. Going excellent. How is your life going? Give me a one word for how your life is going. Let's see. Okay. Now, the issue with this is we see life as one big element. We see life even if there are 10 areas, 10 things good happening in our life. One bad thing is going on. We will say our life has gone. Our life is a waste. So today I will also teach you to analyze life. Not as one big huge journey. But to break it into different, different, different parts. Such that every part of it you can analyze on your own. Okay. So in older times. When we used to want to navigate. When we had to you know go from one point to another. We had to make a long journey. We used to believe in something called a North Star. It used to be a bright star that would look up into the sky and we would and we would be working on it. But now it is not the same. We are now uh, we are now into a different state of mind. We are into something called the GPS system. And that is what we are going to mention to, we are going to talk about today. How to build this, how to get in there, what to work on this. Okay. So the GPS needs one, the current position. Second, the destination. Third, the shortest path. Okay. Just give me one second. I need to give co-host permission to Niranjan. Sorry for that. We had to, there were some in internet issues. Now are you can hear me fine. Can see me fine, guys? Okay. I can't see most of you guys, no? So I don't know whether you are able to see me or not. Quickly turn on your cameras, guys. Okay. So we are going to work on something called the GPS system. Now the GPS system is something you are all very familiar with, right? It's in your car. You are using it in your map. So the GPS needs three things. The very first thing is your current position. Second, the destination. And as soon as you put these both things, it will automatically take you to the shortest path ever. So let's do this. So today this is exactly what we'll do. We'll set our current state, decide our destination, do it. The biggest mistake we do is we always focus on the path. How to reach the goals? What to reach the goals? How will we do it? Should I follow good habits? Should I wake up in the morning? We get into this rush. But the most important part is your current state. Who are you right now? So let's take a quick analogy of you. Let's imagine if I told you that there was, you could, you would have only one home for the rest of your life. Only one building that you're going to have. How would you care for it? You would probably, you know, do superb maintenance, give it the best teacher, every day wake up and clean it. You will absolutely go into a mode of, you know, treat it like a supreme, supreme this, yes? Whereas if you were living in a PG and you knew this was not your permanent home and that later you will shift and you would not give it that much importance, yes? This building... This whole foundation that you are going to live in for the rest of the life is your life. So you get to choose how to make it, how to build it, how to maintain it. The most beautiful home that houses your emotions, that houses your dreams, everything is this building. So today I will be teaching you how to make this building, how to, you know, Build up what you are, where you are going to be. Because your home reflects you. Remember Asian Pains used to have a ad, Har Ghar Kehta Hai. It's the same. Your life is who you are, how your building will look, how your things will look. So be true to it. So today we are going to become an architect. We are not going to look at our life from a third perspective, from a birdman perspective. 
from this, but we are going to live our life the way we were meant to be. And interestingly enough, Niranjan here is is nahi, was an architect. He's actually tell us tell them Niranjan. So, how many architects here? Any architects? Any architecture students? A real life degree yeah, degree architects, not the architects of life. Everyone here are architects of life, but no real architect. So, I... Then you can say bad things about so it. Basically, what happens is that when you are in college, uh, after school, you have the option of engineering medicine. Or, you know, those are just the conventional choices. I wanted to be neither. I neither want to be a doctor. Nor did I want to become an engineer. Now what happens? I did not want to choose fine arts because I thought that that did not have a scope for my, for earning a money. So I thought that I could choose architect because I like sketching. Little little did I know that architecture was in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the toughest course in the world. Number one. Number two is that architecture had nothing to do with sketching. It had everything to do with a lot of geometric drawings, drafting, and everything. Long story short, three years in, I completely lost interest in architecture. I used to walk around with sketchbook, which I filled it with a lot of my beautiful drawings. I still have them. And those are my precious memories that I took back from, from the college. More than anything else, I'm not a good architect. I can't design a house or a floor plan or nothing. But what architecture had taught me more than everything else is patience. It is great. The ability to pull all nighters, the ability to stick continue continuously to a project, take it to completion, and more than anything else, the ability to constantly improve and rework on something that you initially thought. So, as you're sitting in this class, I want you all to be present in the state of mind that what I know might be good, but we can continuously iterate it, improve it, and make it better. Even if you've taken a similar class like this, please be fully present because this could be life changing. So you heard from Niranjan. Niranjan was an architect who decided that this is not the life I see myself doing. He took a hard look at his life and realized that the next 10, 15 years, this is not what I want to do. I, on the other hand, I'm an IIM graduate and I have been, you know, uh, been there for a very long, I was in corporate for a very long time. But then I realized that I need to build up my, you know, I this is not what I want to do. I wanted to do something else. I wanted to get into the creative space. I wanted to get into this. And that's when I decided that I am going to shift my priorities, my values, everything and be who I am. And today I can safely tell you, judging by my own students who have come, I have been able to create an impact. Because guys, remember one thing. Your goals are yours only. Only you have the power to shape your life. Only you have the choice to make a life that you want to do. You might feel that my family controls me. You might feel that I am bound by my economic conditions. You might feel I am done by this. But the very truth that you have to accept it, you, have the, you are the architect of your life. So the day you come to this decision, like Niranjan made that decision one, four years back, that this is not what I want to do. I'm going to take charge of my life. The decision I made three years ago, I'm going to completely get off my corporate and work in service industry and help others grow. That's what changed our life. So today I want you to get in with this spirit that you are the most amazing building and you are the architect of this building, your life. And just like every other building, you have a blueprint, you have a foundation, you have walls and pillars, windows and door and maintenance. I'll, tease, I'll talk a little bit about the analogy of it in a while, but I want all of you to get it there that you are the architect. How many of you are the architects of your life? Yes. How many of you think that you truly have the destiny, believe in the destiny that you can change your life? Yes. Come on, guys. I have stronger. I want to do it. If you see... Change and all is not something small. It's not going to be like today I'm going to give you a magic wish. Tomorrow your business will grow higher. Or day after tomorrow you will become healthy. It takes grit. It takes determination like Niranjan said. So I want a stronger eye guys. Come on. Take hold of your life. Super. So how do we build it? First step is the blueprint. We will make the blueprint of our house, the outline of our dreams, goals, aspirations. 
Second, we will set up our foundation. Foundation are the values, the core values, the things that you truly believe in. Walls and pillars are your skills and talents. And windows are your experiences. So once you go through your building, once you make through each one of them, you are a building unique in itself. And that is why, guys, this thing will not work. Manifestation will not work. Because when we make, I have made over, I have helped over 500 people make their vision board. And when they go through their first iteration, everybody's vision board looks the same. One white house, one white family in front of them, one dog, one watch, one expensive car. How is it possible that everyone's dream is same? Everyone's vision is same. It is not. Each one of you are in unique building. So if you want to leave the race, if you want to become a unique building, not like an apartment high rise where everyone looks the same, but a unique building, you have to sip a glass of water and stay with me today here, okay? Take a sip of water and let's start. Okay? So this building is yours. My life absolutely changed when I realized that I, I am the only person who is responsible for me. I stopped giving, you know, I stopped feeling like a victim. I stopped getting into it. I realized it's me who can change it. So let's get there. The first misconception that you have is when we talk about building a life, you think of we will have to build from scratch. And it makes you very scared. Oh my God, I have to do this. I have to do that. Ye bhi karna hai, wo bhi karna hai. It feels a little overwhelming. But the reality is you are not building from scratch. You are repairing. Whatever scars 2023 has brought on to you, whatever problems it's brought on to you, we are simply going to repair today. So today I'm going to give you this blueprint. I'm going to give you this amazing chance to build yourself to get in there. But before that, you will have to do one small thing for us. I want you to go and like us on our Instagram page. Niranjan, can you share the link, please? Because we are going to have many free sessions like this across the next one, two months. And I want all of you to be the first person to get all of this when we are doing it. So quickly, quickly go and follow us on Instagram because even this session we had first posted on Instagram. I don't want you to miss all our sessions. We have a Mumbai event coming up that also was posted there. So to remain updated about all that is happening, I want you to do this. Okay. Done. Comment in done after you have done. I know many of you already follow us, but for the, those who don't, please do it because we are essentially every day providing you toolkits to get you there. Done? Sure. Super. Oh, you're already following us from ages. Thanks. So let's get on to the live audit 2023. You will need a notebook for this. You will need pens, of course. And if additionally, it's a bonus if you have sticky notes with you. Old students know whenever I bring out my sticky notes, it's going to be an amazing class. So if you have sticky notes, you can join it. Okay, I'll give you one minute to gather your materials. A pen, a normal paper. Yeah, Ananya has it, Sindhu has it. Superb. Sushma also has it. Okay, so bring out your sticky notes. Let's do an audit. One second. I'll just connect from my phone as well. Plain notebook, rule notebook, anything will do. Because today was a very in the spurt class and we had not given you a lot of knowledge oh, in this. You can just be with it, okay? Okay, so let's start. So in case you don't have sticky notes, that's also completely fine. Don't worry. We won't need this. So we are going to go through an audit of your life in different areas. So let's go. The first area is 
hydrate of course have a sip of water because we're going to get really busy in this class now let's go so i'm going to take you through different categories of your life career professional health and well being relationships financial health recreation all of these categories we will go one by one and you will design your life so we'll do a quick life audit so on your sheet i'm going to show you both options if you have a sticky note good enough use that if you don't have a sticky note just make a box okay so both options are there i'm showing you both options you can use both these options to do them okay either option yeah go for it i am assuming at least you'll have pencil and also you go with that okay so i'm first going to show you some craft work here out there and then we'll get into the quizzing uh, we'll get into the quiz so to make this a little attractive why go by boring books mumbai maybe i'm going to do this in a more full fledged vision but right now i'm going to just show you a small version of it okay this is for and you can make a small dumbbell here health okay next box hey if you don't have us can don't have a sticky note many people often ask me ki uh, can journaling can just writing on a notebook change your life i tell them writing is the biggest form of manifestation because once you put it out from your mind to your paper magic just happens and today i'll give you by just this half an hour it will take us to do this exercise to work on it and you will see such massive clarity you get on to this this one make a small heart for relationship this one is for career you can of course use different kinds of sticky notes it's time to bring out all those sticky notes out so you have the small ones you can use that as well okay so you start with these four let's start with these four and then we will get on to making the more ones okay with me so far i will show you the, and, and and this uh, entire thing we are going to make a lot of this in there you will see the scope of this fourth is finance i'm sorry i added a dollar by default i should have added a rupee symbol yeah you are right just came to me organically okay let's go so in the health one the first category health 
I want you to objectively look at your year. Did you maintain a consistent fitness routine? Did you ensure mental and emotional well-being throughout the year? And based on that, from 1 to 10, I want you to give yourself a score. Okay. One means I was in the worst health. I had a lot of health issues. I had to take operation. I was mostly bedridden. Very bad condition. 10 means I am right now coming back from a marathon or going tomorrow to a marathon. I am that physically fit. This also means mental health. So I should actually add a small brain to this. I was in a very bad state in life. I could not, you know, get in there. I could not achieve my goals. I was just stressed throughout there. It was very bad for me. I'm going to just put five for everything. You guys put an objective one. Although my physical health was much lower, I think I'll give it a four because I started having a lot of hormonal changes. And a lot of issues came up to this. So, but mentally I was in a little better place. Okay. So your current score for this. Second, your relationships. Here again, two categories. Personal and professional. Okay. Personal relationships. How much of a meaningful time were you able to spend with your family? Not just WhatsApp, or, you know, sending them messages on WhatsApp or, or being on a family group, but meaningful connections like going on a trip or, you know, opening up to them, having good memories. Professional means how were you able to extend your network? Now, some of you will be like, I don't go to office. I don't go in this. I am not part of this. In that case, you mention, even if you are an entrepreneur, you want to build something, some professional network you need, right? Who are the people you want to connect with? Who are the people who are going to hold you in the next few years? Because trust me, you are an average of the five people you hang out with the most. Average in looks, average in height, average in everything. Okay? With me so far, guys, give me a D if you are done giving yourself a score in these two areas. Okay, super. Now, the next category is, of course, personal growth or career. So, here it is again in two parts, career, personal. Those who have been, who are part of this webinar automatically give you, give yourself a plus one in personal and plus one in career because you are working towards it already. Had you missed it, it might be a four. But since you attended it today, this session, it's a five. Just an example I'm giving you. But your career goals are how, what was your goal in January? Were you able to achieve through it? Did you get that kind of satisfaction from life that you thought you wanted to get? Is your career path going towards where it should have been? Okay, Priya, career is how much, how long have you come from, uh, say, today is December 21st, right? From December 21st last year to now, how far have you gone along the perfect career path that you wanted? Or you have said, for example, you might not have a career right now, but you are working towards it. You took classes to build it. You are building skills on it. You have started your LinkedIn profile. Okay, personal is how much skills do you learn apart from your career? For example, I learned journaling. I learned, you know, gardening. 
I learned this skill. I learned that. Okay, yes. So all of you who are already part of Platinum or any other community or part of Lifecraft with us or any other learning thing, you constantly wake up in the morning and learn something, you're already there. Okay. And the last is finances. Okay. This also in two categories. One is spending. One is saving. Spending means, were you able to, were you a good spender as in you spent in the only right things or did you spend on, you know, reckless things like bought a Louis Vuitton bag that you haven't used? I want you to take a minute here, guys. Just don't write it like this. I'm in fact going to give you one minute to think about it. Are there things that you bought from Amazon and you still did not use? How much did you spend on, say, eating out? What was the main area where you could, you know, you could have like, done it, but you still spent? Okay. Saving is, saving, oh, you can put it as part of Vikram investment and all of it because eventually it's not getting spent, right? You are correct. There should be one. But for simplicity, we have put it into this. Okay. Saving is zero means I have not been able to spend one, uh, save one rupee. I'm actually going in a negative deficit. 10 means not only have I saved, I've also invested. And I'm working towards a retirement plan. I'm doing it. I'm getting there. Have a good look at your life, guys. Just don't write the first number that comes to your mind. And since we are talking about money, many people ask me, Ki, how can journaling and all of this really help me build it money? I'm going to show you. I only write and write and that's how I've been able to save money. All the secret will deliver. Don't worry, tell you. Okay. Done. And I'll share something with you. You can see my hand today. I had a very big gash with a knife today. And I almost had to get stitches. Maybe to, I did not go to the hospital and scared that they'll give me stitches. But everyone's insisting I have a look and get it there. And I get a tetanus shot. I almost cancelled this class. Almost did. But I love doing this so much. I was like, it doesn't feel like a lot of pain to me, Niranjan. I'll do it. Because it's... You're going to see at the end of this, when we finish doing it, how much clarity we need. Maybe some of you already are finding clarity. How many of you are already getting clarity? Comment and see. You've never looked at your life in such different areas. When I asked you in the, in the first, how's your life? You said nice. But now you are getting so many different scores. Maybe in this area, you were a 10. Maybe in this area, you were a 2. So don't Always say my life is there. Break life into different categories. Aditi, the fun will increase. Don't worry. We are here for more fun. Okay. Next. Okay. Next page. So next categories again. If you have it. By the way, if you are putting this, you shouldn't you uh, shouldn't get this. Okay, you don't have to make this. It's only for either do this or either this, either of them. Okay. Rakhi ji is messaging me. Why are you ignoring this cut? You should have gone immediately. You Rakhi ji, you are not going to have a surgery so that you don't miss out the Mumbai plan, and you are telling me to look after my cut. Rakhi ji is such a big. You know, patron of Soul Flow since beginning. She's also, you know, uh, grown tremendous with us. To attend her Mumbai event, she's postponed her surgery. That is how much love she has for us. And she's telling me, why are you not looking after cut? You know how it feels when the community and energy comes in, okay? It's not that harsh. I, um, 
I think some of it drama I was doing because I was missing attention from Niranjan. It's okay. It's not that deep. It's not bleeding and all. It hurts a little, but it's okay. Okay, next is very important. We often skip this, although it is one of the most important part. I make this into a TV. Okay. So if you have a paper here, you can do it with this. This is fun and recreation. Okay. Here, here again, I want you to divide it into two categories. First is fun. Second is me time. Okay. Now, what is the difference between both of them? Fun is you do it with family. You have it, you know, you do it with your friends. You do it there. Fun is something probably for you. It might be Netflix. It might be there. It's okay. Give yourself a score. Me time, on the other hand, is what do you do as say to unwind? For example, it could be journaling. It could be doing going solo trip. It could be drinking coffee in one part of this. Okay. For, why don't you show this, Naranjit? For example, show it here. They'll be able to see this. So, for, for example, example as uh, this is my me time as Sanchari was taking the classes, I was sitting by the side supporting her. Look but at Chandni's face, it went into O mode. But at the same time, I was also doing sketching, which I absolutely love. So yes, so this is, you know, this is how you also need something to unwind. Okay. So what is the definition of your fun or me time? We are going to define this on the elevate. But right now, what is your fun and me time look like? Give yourself a score. Okay. And please, I it's a genuine request for me. Sitting on your toilet and watching Instagram reels is not me time. Okay. Please don't call it me time. Me time, I want you to do something more productive, like probably read a book. Little one. I'm not saying it has to be something very deep and all, but me time could be even drinking cup of tea outside. Watching reels is not me time. Okay. Done. Next. Next category. I will ask you guys, what do you think is left in life? Let's have a quick revision. We have worked on our health. We worked on our relationships. We worked on our career. Money. Fun. What else do you think is left? Uh, Sangeeta, knowledge comes in this personal development only. How much have you learned? How much have you studied? This is where it comes. Socialize comments, relationships, personal relationships. How much are you socializing friends? This is where you can add in. Good creative. I like it. Creativity should be a part of this. Creativity also comes mostly in this personal space. You can add it into this or me time where you are putting into this. Okay. Hobbies, new activities all come under this. What are the things you are doing to be more creative? Your creative spirit out, your sports spirit out, your adventure, traveling, vacation, all of this comes in this fun category. What area is missing here? So, Maunika has actually got the answer. It is how much all of this you are doing it intrin intrinsically. You are doing it for you. What are you going to do for others? Okay. So this part is about giving and contribution. Now this, I'm going to do it again in two categories. 
and this is mainly to give you a discrimination. Most of us think contribution in terms of money. Ki I have donated this, this rupee to this. I have given this, this, this. I did it. But I also want you to see it in times of time. Which means feeding a dog might not be money, but it is more of time going out and doing it. Teaching someone is a this. So I'll give you a very good example. In our community, we have 5.30 a.m. check-ins. Okay. So I and Niranjan used to do it. Then we proposed to the community that, hey guys, can someone else of you do this? Why don't you take up? So some members, Sushma, Maitri, all these people started taking morning classes and now they wake up in the morning and do it for the community. Similarly, we were teaching uh, some of our community members needed help with Excel. I am taking them through passion projects and teaching them how to become an entrepreneur. So they needed this. How did they do it? Everybody contributed. So there you are contributing time, putting your skills and all of it. So give yourself a score based on this. How much of your time have you given to people to help them? How much of your money are you giving? And trust me, guys, this is very little. This is what truly matters. And I want to say something which my mentor Tony Robbins once said. If you are earning 10 rupees and you refuse to share 10 rupee, uh, 1 rupee with someone... Tomorrow, when you get 1 lakh, you are still not going to be sharing ten, uh, 1 rupee with them. It's not about a matter of how much you earn. It is about how much you are willing to give. Okay. So money is not there. It is in time. If you had attended my sacred habits class, how many of you had attended sacred habits class on, uh, when was sacred habits class? Last Saturday. Sacred habits. Saturday. December 16th. December 16th. Absolutely, Sangeeta. Anything you are doing it selflessly. Like if you are looking up after your relatives and all of it selflessly without expecting that they will leave a lot of lot behind you in their will. It is part of this. You are doing it like, oh, I am going to get this after this. Then probably not. But anything you are doing a lot of selflessly caregiving is doing it. Okay, yeah. So if you had attended my sacred habits, I had said one of the biggest habits is community. This is why. Okay. Last one category left. Tell me one last one. One last category. Which one is it? Yes, yes. Yes, Shamli has actually got it very correct. It is. Oh, okay. It is I'm giving an alternate use to the sticky notes as well. One second. Giving and contribution. Oh, sorry. I already have one. Sorry, sorry. This is there. I'm sorry. It is. Thank you, Janvi. Spirituality. Okay, so we had also taken a class on spirituality. How many of you attended that? We are putting all these updates in the groups. You people should come in and check it out. So we had defined spirituality, but you don't worry. We are going to take these classes again and again all through the year to get in you there. But spirituality necessarily does not mean closing your eyes and, you know, uh, sitting cross-legged or, you know, meditating. Spirituality is a connection with the universe. It is feeling that you are part of something bigger than you. Similar to religion, but a little different. I don't want to get into it. It's a one-hour webinar. We'll take the class again someday. But how much do you define your spirituality? Okay. So quick revision. Physical and mental health, relationships, personal and professional, career and personal career, uh, sorry, career skills, development, sorry, personal development, money, fun and recreation. Spirituality, 
I'm really sorry for my handwriting today because I'm a little clumsy today and I'm not able to move as much. Coming out there, I hope you are able to read. Giving and contribution. Okay. So now that you have defined all of this, your this, have a sip of water. And there's one last category that I want to talk about, which I don't really include in many of them because it causes a lot of anxiety among people, but it's a very special category. The category is legacy. What are you going to leave behind in this world? After you are here, after you, you know, no longer a part of it, what are you going to leave behind? That is your legacy. For example, your legacy could be, you know, you want to write a book that everybody remembers you. Or it could be even that my son wants, will remember me as, you know, the best mother ever. But how much are you contributing into building a better world? Or where are you going to, you know, uh, after you are there, what are you going to leave behind? It could be a business. It could be, you know, just putting great values into your children. What is you, what is that? How close are you towards making an influence? If you have never even thought about it. If you are like, Are yaar, I am mostly focused on my health and all. How will I think about others? You give yourself a low score. But if every single day you wake up and you are like, no, I have to do this. I have to build this. I have to help people. There is a burning influence in you. It is there. How about the legacy? Okay. Legacy is different from giving and contribution because here you are not doing it in hope or appreciation that you are going to get something in return. You are doing it out of good of your heart. You genuinely want to help. But legacy is like, I want to create a brand name for myself. I want to leave behind something that people want to do. I'll give you a good, uh, I'll, I'll let me let me give you a good um, uh, answer for this. So how many of you have seen the movie 12 Fail? Have you seen the movie? It's, it came out recently out there. If you haven't, please watch it when it's out on OTT. It's a beautiful movie where this guy who's literally a uh, manual labor, he goes up to become an IS officer. It's his journey. It's a true real life story of this journey for it. And he and his entire life changed because one person, one police inspector once told him stop cheating and stop working and it impacted his life and he said, I want to become like this police. That was that policeman's legacy. He was able to contribute and give his life to build, making, to changing the life of someone. Giving and contribution would be had he given him 500 rupees and said, Yelle, buy some clothes for yourself and doing it. Okay. So it's about long lasting impression, long lasting building of all of it. Okay. How many of you have given yourself more than seven on legacy? It could be you have a business that you are building. It could be that you are you have written books like Sri Devi has written many books. It could be that you help the environment. Anyone? Okay. So now I want you to start thinking of this category as well. What are you going to leave behind? There's a very famous book. I don't know if you have said, who will cry when you die? That's your legacy. Robin Sharma, yes. Okay. So this is a 10 out of score of your entire this. Now quickly tell me what is the most highest scoring area for you versus the lowest scoring area. Which area did you do the best in? Versus which area did you do worst in? Yes, healing is there. My voice is low. Is it? Now is it fine? Which area did you do your best in? Which area did you do your worst in? Growth, you mean career and career growth. 
legacy lease relationship. Okay. Cool. Now, guys, while you have a sip of water, while you take this, I want you to touch your heart and tell me how many you have got a very good perspective of your life now. You were looking at your life from a very different perspective. And now you have broken it down and seen it from so many angles. Do you have more appreciation for your life now? Yes? Comment in life. If now you are seeing life is not just one area. Maybe I had a breakup, but I did so much better in my personal uh, growth. Maybe office may I did not do well, but I had such a love lasting relationship with my husband. Maybe my family did not do anything or I did not get along with family, but I played with so many puppies. I fed them and they are, that is my legacy. Yes. How many of you are seeing this? Growth, recreation. How many of you are seeing that my life is not just one. My life is a mixture of many areas. And that is exactly what, you know, me and Niranjan had decided with. So many of us say that how can journaling help it? Does writing do it the most? I get it from men. Ki how can I build a business with this? Ye writing, writing se kya hoga? I'm going to tell you how we have been able to create a seven-figure constant income with just writing. Okay, so I'm going to show you my book, my soul book. Oh, you did it. I thought it's getting there. This is the book that me and Niranjan had started making after we got married and we started working on it right from January 1st. I worked on different areas of my life. What do I want to build on? Where I want to do? These are my symbols. Did deep introspections. Worked on my health and premise. Just today, you just identified your test. I went, or we went on and decided what is it that is important for me. What are bad habits? What are good habits? See, in different categories. Some categories I have not migrated into this book yet. Then say, intellectual and mental health. What is it to be becoming a different mental health? How is it? Do I want to visualize my mental health life with? What is my vision? What do I want to be? Yes? Emotional life. How do I want my emotions control to be? We just started with writing it. And trust me guys, things just fell into our lap. Me and Niranjan consider ourselves very lucky. That's simply why, you know, things have been so good to us. We were able to find a couple of days back, our WhatsApp was blocked. Few months before, our Facebook has been hacked. But despite everything, all of it, we were just able to go on. Our Instagram is shadow banned. We have got everything, but we are still able to be resilient. How many of you want to form something like this? How many of you want to build something like this? So Platinum members, you know, we have already given you this which is a digital part of this. You already have a copy of Soul Book where we have all this GPS method. But, and I know, how many of you want this copy? How many of you want to have this copy and be able to write this? You also want to get the same level of clarity that I have, that we have. Yes. You want it, right? I wanted to write, I want it. I want it. This is, I want you to want it as bad as you want your life to be great there. Right? Yeah, yeah I will give you. I, I am always in a mood to give you and all of this. But first, before I give you this book, I want you to spend two minutes Writing, because today I showed you how, how, what is the part of writing? What is your vision for 2024? So how will we write it? I'm going to show you right now how will we write it. So can you pin that screen, Naranjan, please? Ah, thank you. So 
for physical and mental health, I want you to write in front of this, what is your vision for 2024? Maybe it is say, I, right now we are not going to get into smart goals, defining and into it, but simply like regular workout, weight loss, maybe a certain figure you want to put in, mental health, uh, quit med uh, anxiety and depression, work on journaling more. I want you to write in each one of these, what is it that is your vision for 2024? Maybe in relationships, you scored very low. So your vision in relationships is that I want to have better time with my husband. I want to find better time with my family. Career-wise, what is it that your goal is? Where is it that you want to go in 2024? Let's be realistic. Let's be honest. And we'll write. Okay. So I'm going to play some nice light music. I'm going to play some binaural beats which amplify our, uh, our focus and I want you to write this maybe right now you can do it for the categories which are most important to you pick up three categories that is most important let's start with one because I really I, I didn't realize time has gone so like Niranjan just started nudging me and I saw it's nine we are little get there but I hope you can give me 10-15 more minutes yes your life plan is almost ready. We can't leave it. Yes. Can we take 10, 15 more minutes? Okay. So take one area of your life and I want you to write what does this category vision mean to you? What does having good relationships in 2024 mean to you? What is it that it gets there? So you have written down your vision also now. Don't you wish you had done this in 2023? How many of you have this little FOMO? I wish I had done it in 2023 also. I would have got massive clarity on my year. Yes? Niranjan, can you uh, remove the spotlight? Okay, I've done it. Okay? Yes? So don't worry. Don't, can, don't even if you have regrets, 
I it took us seven years, guys. We took us seven years to learn the hard way how to get this done. It took us. It took us seven years. But you will be getting this shortcut. You are going to achieve all of this by simply doing one thing in 24, 2024. Are you ready to do one thing in 2024? I'm telling you all this vision, whatever you have written is going to come true in 2024. One thing, comment in one if you are ready to do this one little thing for this, for yourself, not for me. Because I have for you the best gift that you can give in 2024. Elevate 2024. It is going to be a growth goals marathon where I'm going to give you the soul book which I showed you. We are going to be building our blueprint. That entire building, remember we showed from beginning, foundation, values, etc. We're going to do this together. We are going to give you this plan, hacking plan to build yourself. It is going to be this massive clarity workshop which will build your inner coat. This workshop, and I'm not kidding, guys, I can show you a mail. I recently sold it to a corporate for 7 lakhs. Over 6 months, we are going to do it for 7 lakhs for their entire thing to do it, to get in there. But I want to give you this opportunity. And me, ourselves have invested, I think, across every category. We have spent close to 2-3 lakhs into doing it. Yesterday, I was telling my community, my biggest loan is an educational loan. Personal development loan that I've done. You guys, have, some of you have met our mentors and doing it. All of this. this, this I, and I said that today I'm going to give you a 2 crore plan. But it's going to be much more than this. It's going to be much more than a 2 crore plan. I'm going to give you at the yes, half price. Yes, is letting Not go. even half price. Very good. Poor Not even 50,000. Not even 40,000. Not, Not, Not even 20. Not even 10. Not even 5. Let's see. Yes, do this full yes look at this. Atulia is letting go. Very good. Who all are letting go? Okay, we are going to go into a deep introspection of ourselves. This same thing that you did today, this live audit dashboard, we are going to do this in much more clarity, define each one of our goals. We are going to build a proper dashboard for yourself from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are not going to ask you to come three days, one week, no one week workshop, no three day workshop, just one day. You sit with us from morning to evening. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you're going to be part of this change. Priya, you have attended twice. Are you ready to do this again? And every elevator is different. You know this. Are you going to do this again? Taranpreet, we are going to design your life plan one sheet at a time. So I'm going to help you define your 2.0. I'm going to help you build your new identity, a new person for yourself. How many of you want to do this with me? If today, just imagine writing 10 sticky notes was there. Imagine if you could just spend a whole day with me and Niranjan. Deepti has also attended twice. Coming in for three. Three time, third time, lucky. It's 2024, the new elevator is going to be absolutely different. We have upskilled ourselves for it. Now we have uh, we took a workshop with Tony Robbins. We have just finished our live book mastery with Mind Valley. So we have so much in more to add to you. 2023 was our year of learning. 2024 is our year of action. All that we have learned, we are going to get in there to you. And you super human overlap you made. So if you want to be part of the greatest online event ever, treat it like you are going to Dubai, taking a flight, going to Dubai and doing it. Wow, somebody is taking my sketch noting classes seriously. Super. I just wanted to show. It's going to be this amazing, guys. You're going to get clarity on your values. 2.0 habits, successful, all of this. I'm going to start from morning. I'm going to give you, of course, lunch break. You're going to cry of joy, guilt and relief. You're going to become a master architect and all of this at just 999 rupees. So the price of your dreams, the price of getting all your dreams and putting a figure into this, it is 1000. 
for thousand rupees is going to be a one day event. We want to do this and we'll see this. I we at first when we uh, our mentor told us that such a program, such a massive program, you are doing it. You should do it for like close to at least ask them for 10,000, 15,000. But we said this time, let's do it with masses. I want to see how many people take this thousand rupees program seriously and stick till the end. This is an experiment for us to see that if 2024, we can really build your dreams. So more than anyone, it's for us. And I know if I kept it for free, the attendance would have been like this. Nobody takes free things seriously. In a group of 500 people, only you 60 people have survived this workshop and been till the end. So I want such massive change makers for Elevate 2.0. I want you to be staying from morning to evening. Last time there were 146 and in the evening it was 146. So I don't want people to come in thinking it's fun, it's there. It's serious activity. And have, you, have you dropped the link, Niranjan? It's there. So morning to evening, it's going to be hectic. It's going to be tough. But the result of this is you are never going to fail in life again. Tripti is in. How whom all are in? Deepti is willing to join for the third time. Who all are in? Comment in, guys. In. Sangeeta is in. Ananya is in. Dolly is in. Neetu is in. Priya is in. Shamili is in. You are not in. Now you are out. You are out of the world now because you are going to change your life. Maitri is in again. Third time for you also, right? You are becoming Elevate Addicts. It's for 999. Only because I genuinely want to do this experiment. How many people's lives can I transform and whether this doing it. We want to do it with mass. Last time we had experiment, we wanted to do it in a much more price rate, but this is what we want to do them. And like I said, this is the last time we are going to do this at this price. Um, and if those who had attended last time, you know, this was for 499. Now it's 999. Next time you see it is going to have one zero in front of this. Because I have huge belief in the program. I see these people here. They have built so much changes in it. Raki Ji, Taran Preet, Maitri. Do you guys agree it's worth 1000 Yeah, platinum people, it's free for platinum family. But do you believe it's worth it? Okay. So, absolutely welcome to all of this. Meghna wants to join the next time. Next time you can join, but I will have the next time close to in November. So, next November, we have decided we are going to do Elevate once in the starting of the year, once at the end of the year. So, last Elevate we had in November. Uh, now we are having it in January. And I can guarantee you, I can give it to you in writing. It's not going to be a thousand next time. Thank you, Dolly. We also feel it was the best decision for you to join in. So Niranjan has dropped the link. We have like 20 seats left now. Yeah, we have 20 seats left. So Dr. Tripti, what about you, Dr. Kashish? Uh, Indira, Maunika, are you joining it? Rosaline, Rosaline has attended our offline event. This is going to be much better than our offline event, I can guarantee you. Reshmi, Vikram, joining us, right? Do this for yourself. And meanwhile, please ask your doubts about the class. Anything you want to know, anything you left in, if you want to share, please, the chat box is yours for now. This is your space, your time to ask me any questions, any particular area in your life or about the Elevate program. I'm in here. We'll need, a, so yes, the one more thing I forgot to mention about the Elevate program. It's not a, a normal program where, you know, you just come in, log in and there, there are a lot of rules in this program as well. For example, the very first rule that you have to build in, that you have to work on is, I'll show you, wait. No, it's a very serious. I'll tell you how seriously we take this program. Sorry, one second. It starts with clarity, guys. If you don't have clarity on what you want in your year, you're going to make the same mistakes again and again and again. So this price you are paying is to make sure you don't make the mistakes again. I want to make sure every single mistake you made, you don't repeat it again. Okay. 
you will need to you know get your cameras on you will need a dress code which is going to be white you all have to be dressed in white it is mandatory you will need a lighter and a steel bowl i'll tell you later why one big chart paper and sketch pen and of course sticky notes it looks like too much hard work but this is the work you are putting into making your life worth it remember that building that architecture that creation you did it you want to do this with this shamili has joined in superb tripti has joined in maunika the next program will be in somewhere in november because we've decided it's going to be one year starting one year ending maybe midway we decide but it takes so much effort for us to prepare this program from morning to evening work on it it's too much tolling so twice a year neetu's joined in ananya has joined in lovely thank you roslyn it's such and it's it's i think probably the light because i'm going through a lot of health issues and my skin has gone for a toss but thank you maybe the light is making me look nice made my day okay are you joining roslyn i definitely tell you you and your husband set aside everything make it into a date last time also we had two couples in who were all the time discussing we do something called the value mapping exercise and they were discussing which value it's like kundali matching so they were like oh you have this value i have this value it's a best couples exercise do it with your parents do it with your friends do it with this it's a, it's a great date that you're going to do with tripti and neetu have also joined okay Preeti ji, you to registered last time only, na? With your two kids, you come with a package of two kids. Oh, your kids are today also here. Okay. So New Year gift, all you have, no matter now, you can be rest assured. Even if you have no New Year plans, like me and Niranjan, literally have no New Year plans because you forgot to book anything. And thirty first morning, we also have a class for you. So all those who have registered for Elevate get a very very special class on thirty first Jan morning when we are going to set up our resolutions together. How cool is that? So for all loners like me and Niranjan who don't have New Year plans, we have created a party for you. Okay, Sunday yes, it's a Sunday. So all our community will be there. We have a massive community. And you all will sit together in the morning, thode time ke liye, so that evening you can go and do your drinking, shrinking, and enjoying, enjoying. But morning we are going to make our resolutions. Cool. It's time to elevate. Your kids' birthday is on first January. Wow. So that is you. It's so crazy. Wow. Thirty first morning. morning we'll come at 10 and we'll leave by 12 morning morning we'll do it and we'll just get up with this fresh energy and get out there okay so that's it from my side guys if you have any doubts if you have any learn let me know we are in mumbai on 23rd please come and drop us if you are there and on lonavla from 25th to 27 we would love to see you okay superb guys thank you so much If you have any questions, uh, you can raise your hand. I'll give you permission to unmute yourself. Thank you, Ananya, for taking this huge leap of faith with us. Because I, I genuinely, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a year full of this. We are going to get there. Are you showing something? Yeah. Okay. Can you spotlight yourself then? If you want to say something, you can unmute, ask questions. It's your time. Hey everyone, can you hear Thank me? Thank you, Damini. Yes. So this is what we were doing the previous year. This is my journal, my big fat journal, where we're really writing down our vision, our goals, everything that we wanted to do for the coming year. So we wrote, like we're just sitting writing every single thing that we wanted, our professional goals, our personal goals. And just deeply thinking. It, it's good. Niranjan is showing you this notebook because otherwise you'll be like, I have to be very creative or colorful to write. It's good. He's you showing you his perspective. You just need to think clearly, and you're really, really thinking through everything that you wanted. And see, here's what we have written: professional goals. So only ten figures, but we didn't do ten figures, but we did. We are doing seven figures. 
offline offline building. We did not do offline building, but yes, we are doing our first ever three day VIP retreat. You guys and can hear him, right? You can hear. Yes. So another another thing that we really wanted is learn swimming. See, I am extremely hydrophobic because once in school, I almost drowned down that they gave me a lot of well, I could overcome that phobia. I could learn swimming. See, show them the swimming in this. Yes, swimming in this. So we actually had this course. So when we went to we went to Alapi and you know in a swimming pool there we took this course and it is amazing. Nothing like it. See, for everyone who is on the film who's thinking that whether you should come in or not, I just have one thing to tell you that if if through this program you get clarity on this one aspect of your life. That you really wanted to fix. Don't you think it would be good? If after this you became consistent in your workouts, don't you think this would be this program would be worth it? If after this you made better decisions and you did not make that one same, because a lot of our mistakes that we make are repeated. If you did not make that same mistake that you made the previous year, wouldn't it be worth it? Because here we really want to offer, we really want to help share with you. And the price that we are putting, it, it's a joke. I mean, seriously, thousand rupees is a joke. The, it's less than the price of one time you go out to eat with your family, you're going to spend it. So, we are keeping the price low so that this never becomes an issue for you. And for everyone who's on the pen, this is your chance. New Year is coming. People, typically people are FOMO or they make resolutions. You're going to have neither. You're going to go back with a complete plan for 2024. And I think, you know, that's that's you're going to have the best news to thank you. thank you so much guys we are sitting together only side by side we are sitting that's why you see the same background thank you so much have a great evening we reach out to us Bikram, Suvarna, Sush uh, Shamili, Richa if you have any doubts you can reach out to us personally Clarity Wali slide. Which was the Clarity Wali slide, Preeti? I don't remember. Personally, message me. Na, you reach out to me and I'll share. It. I'll ask you. If you have any Ananya, you will not build a vision board. You will build a vision you. We don't believe in the concept of this kind of a vision board. For this, I can give you a recorded class. You can watch that. I can provide you with it. What we will do is something way much more than that. You will create a vision board. You will create a task board for yourself. A step of step by step actions you can take to build. So the we have, as you might know, we are holding two offline meetups, one in Mumbai on December 23rd, one in Lanabla, a three-day meetup. So we really have a lot of packing and things and things to do. So we have to hurry now. But of course, if you have any questions, please ask. We can quickly answer it. All right, then. Thank you so much, guys. See you on 7th. Or before that, 31st, we'll see you. Yeah, okay? we'll see. Thank you, Shamili. See you there. You've registered. I saw you. Welcome Shamili. to the family. Thank you. So, Varna, it is uh, online. It is online happening. It's the biggest virtual event. Yes. And Bangalore, we might have an event in February. Not sure. We had two Bangalore events back to back uh, last year. Preeti was there. All these people had come. So the next time, I'm not sure. Right now, it's an online class. Virtual event, but the biggest virtual event ever. See, we are doing it uh, offline in one place. Only people of that city can come. Here, it's Pan India. I mean, forget Dunkey, forget Salar. This is for Pan India. We'll come to Bangalore. Even if we don't come to Bangalore to have an event, January we'll meet you, Dr. Preeti. Because he'll come and he'll fall sick again. <laughs> <laughs>